Hey guys, welcome back to my channel where we make jokes about my journey as an adult orthodontics patient and I'm your host. If you are watching this video and you're not subscribed, you should subscribe because I heard it's free. Yeah. Anyway, hey guys, welcome back. Um, thanks for joining me again for another update. Um, I have my orthodontist appointment on Tuesday and it was a doozy. I talked about my last video how at this appointment I was getting my bottom braces put on, which I did. Okay. But I got a little unexpected surprise with that appointment too that I want to share with y'all because it's lit. So I showed up at the appointment, um, got in the chair, and the ortho tech was like, we got a lot of pain for you today. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> I didn't know whether to laugh or cry at that point because I know that. <laughs> she jumped right into it um getting me all laced up they could put my bottom brackets on and that was a very straightforward standard process they put the duck bill in my mouth and all the drying and the washing and you know air drying and all that jazz that she needed to do in order to make sure the joints stick they went ahead and they placed all of the brackets on the bottom except for i don't have brackets on the two furthest back molars on each side because i am getting tongue spurs put in at the next appointment and those teeth need to be bare so that they can have uh, molar bands put on. After we went through the process of putting my bottom brackets on, they took my expander off. Y'all already know, y'all already know. This was a breakup that was a long time coming and I'm not sad about it. It was a little bit of a surprise because at my last appointment she told me she wasn't taking my expander out until two appointments which would be the next one um so but they went through the process of taking it off and it was quite the experience let me tell you that i don't know why i thought there there was some like magic solution she was going you know throw on there and it all the glue was going to dissolve and it was just going to fall out uh no um she went in like with the weed whacker super mechanical style and like pulled it out pulled it out and at one point I thought I'm like you know I'm gonna leave this appointment with less teeth than I came with she's out for blood today she was actually very she seemed very pleased with the progress I had made with the expander and apparently she has her little ortho friends or like ortho patients who like argue with her about whether or not um adult expansion is possible just because you grow up and grown and you grow and all you gonna grow it fucking makes sense you've grown all you're gonna grow and so apparently she's like you know i want to get pictures of you next time because i want to use you as an example and people say this is impossible because you've expended so nicely i'm like girl getting bigger is something that i do okay in every respect so she pulled that sucker out she cracked it on out um it's stuck oh it's stuck it smelled like burritos i had two weeks ago and i swear like i brush my teeth twice if not four times a day and that thing smelled like feet get it out of here like i don't even want to take it home just throw it in the trash but she took her took her like 10 years to shave all the glue off and to like polish them up real nice so then she moved on to placing brackets on the upper teeth where the expander was and then putting a, a bracket on the furthest back tooth which there was no bracket there or anything on that tooth at all uh, she had a really hard time getting the bracket placed correctly and i'm not sure why just because it's a hard place to reach me. I don't know, but I'm sitting there after like, like, bro, I'm gonna need you to go ahead and like, get it on there, please. Like, how long can you like sit there like this? After placing the top brackets, they moved into taking molds of my bottom teeth to send to the lab to have my tongue spurs made. And so, uh, mold, whatever the stuff is called, alanine, I think it's called. Not something like that. That's not what it's called. She took molds if you get the peppermint it's not so bad pro tip peppermint putty is not so bad and you just have to be sure to like breathe through your nose she forgot to close the little doors on my bottom brackets and that was a fucking fail because not only do i have putty all over my face but now there are putty in the little doors and so once she was done with the mold and moved on to actually putting my bottom wire in and snapping the doors closed, they wouldn't shut because there's stuff in them. And so she had to spend like 30 more, I spent 30 more minutes with my mouth open uh, while she picked all this stuff out. When I've been in the chair for an hour, 45 minutes, I'm like, girl, 
I gotta go home. Anyway, um, I will show you guys a close up of what my teeth are looking like now. I did go ahead. And I know there was people in my comments like, you, sis, you gonna regret it. If you get them clear rubber bands, I've been talking about clear rubber bands, the last two adjustments. However, it's kind of like when you're young and your parents say like, don't touch the stove, don't touch the stove. Sandra, don't touch the stove. And you're like, I know you said don't touch the stove, but I kind of want to touch the stove. That's what this is. They're not clear, like, as in, like, I'm looking through the window clear. They're clear. I want to describe them as, like, frosted, almost like a white. I really like the way that they look. And so far, like, I've had them in a couple of days, and I've been avoiding red sauce like it's the plague. One of the other reasons I just went ahead and bit the bullet and did it was because I go back in less than two weeks now, and she agreed that if I didn't like the way that they were wearing and or if they were staying, that she would go ahead and change my rubber bands out, even though I didn't need a new wire. So I was like, yeah, girl, hook me up. I'll show you guys what those look like. I think they look really good. And I'll show you what's going on on the bottom, which I got a little story for y'all at the end about what's going on on the bottom. Okay, this is what it's looking like. Um... They look really incognito from a distance. The top ones do at least, so I do like these bands. Uh, I have just standard clear bands in the back. Uh, I'm trying to focus. Uh, yeah, and so the I had a power chain on the front last time, which I don't, they took that off. Um, but those gaps are starting to, we're, we're kind of clearing up nicely, or closing up nicely, but still got a little bit here, and like these, all these teeth gotta move forward, so from the side I'm like, <laughs> you know, not the cutest. And the bottom, I have wax. I have wax helping save my life right now. Uh, and then they go back to these teeth here. I also have... I also have uh, spacers in, in the bottom, to help with um, spacing out those teeth so that when I go back for my tongue spurs you will actually be able to get the band on also before she took the moles of my teeth we're trying to fit the molar bands around those two which it was like trying to shove a hot dog through a keyhole because it was like but metal a metal hot dog and a metal keyhole a porcelain hot dog and a metal keyhole it just wouldn't fit and so she's like jamming it on there like rah. and finally she just decided to give up she's like go ahead we're gonna go ahead, go ahead and put seps in and I'm like is seps code for separators because if so i hate you it was indeed and i have separators in which i have talked about my experience with separators before it was horrendous luckily this time around um, i'm not feeling like my teeth are gonna fall out um it's been a little bit better but um separators are just the world's most um unsuspecting torture device. One of the things that I wanted to show you guys is actually this bracket right here is broken. It's like a loose charm on a Pandora charm bracelet or something. Literally one day after I got the braces put on, uh, I'm sitting on the couch and I'm just like, minding my own business. Like, and I feel like this little metal piece come out and I'm like, oh shit. Like maybe it wasn't glued down good enough. I email the office, they say go ahead, come in. I bring it with me. And they're like, yeah, it's, we're not really surprised that it came loose because there's so much pressure concentrated on those two teeth right now because, hold on, let me go change my battery. Okay. Okay. Um, there's so much pressure on these two teeth right now. Usually your braces go all the way to the back, which helps kind of equalize some of that pressure. But because I didn't have the two brackets on the bottom of each side, it just couldn't handle it. So... That was cool and all. I went and she fixed it. She's like, okay, if it happens again, you're coming back in less than two weeks. So I just want you to try to keep the bracket if you can and just go ahead and snip the wire down with some nail clippers. Be very careful not to swallow it, obviously. Uh, but just go ahead and cut it down with some nail clippers and we'll just fix it at the next appointment. So I leave that appointment. I literally walk two blocks to the bus stop. I sit down. I'm minding my business and I hear this racket here just gives out it was like gives out like a whole pair of leggings with a hole in the crotch it was like nerp the email she's just like yeah just just live with it for the next week and a half or whatever really the point of putting the braces on at this appointment was so that i could get used to them so it was kind of like a gradual step process so it wasn't like 
boom, bottom braces and tongue spurs all in the same appointment. So um, I'm just going to let this little guy ride and free ball. Um, I can put a little wax on it to keep it in place if I'm tired of it jiggling, but it's actually not too bad. Um, anywho, I think that is all I have to update you guys on right now. Um, I'll just say that uh, so far I'm just very happy with my progress. I think my ortho is happy with my progress. She did mention um, in my whole, you know, when I go through the routine, open up, bite down, bite to the side, bite to the other side, that she noticed that my bite was just kind of all over the place, but just kind of reassured me that we kind of have to do like one thing at a time, like focus on one thing at a time. And so my bite is very off, like my teeth don't meet in any kind of like natural way or not natural, but any kind of like uniform way. They don't really sit on top of each other. And so that'll be something that kind of comes with time. Now I did pick up one little context clue, which I don't advise investing a ton of faith in just because my ortho will tell me one thing and do something completely different, which I ain't mad about it no more, but I just know that that's what it is. Like just take, show up to every appointment expecting what you weren't expecting. She did say when we were in conversation about the tongue spur device, she showed me some pictures of what it looks like and just reassured me that, you know, my life wasn't completely over, that I needed to wear it for about a year in order to really get the benefits of um, you know, it helping retrain my tongue and that she's like, oh, well, by the time it's ready to come out, you'll be ready to kind of be done, right, with my orthodontic treatment and get my braces taken off. So hopefully I'll have to wear braces for about 12 more months after, um, the next two weeks where I get this thing put on, but that really just depends on a number of factors like, you know, how compliant I am with treatment in terms of like wearing rubber bands and coming to appointments and, um, you know, aren't doing things that she tells me to do, um, as well as just how fast my teeth move, which they clearly, they've been zooming around, especially these two side teeth in the front, they just all over, the, all over town just hoeing. So I'm optimistic about the fact that this will maybe only be another year, you know, 12, 14 month type process, which I'm excited about. Overall, I'm feeling a lot better. I know in the last couple of videos I was ranting and just kind of being annoying about you know complaining about not knowing that kind of thing but feeling a lot better and feeling a lot more optimistic and I'm really loving like seeing my teeth move and like progressing and like being able to take pictures and be able to notice like my smile is wider my two front teeth are straightening out I can tell you know when I'm looking in the mirror like I see a lot of changes and that's really exciting and that's kind of what keeps me motivated so um, overall, I'm really happy and really excited about my three drinks. That is all I have for you guys now. If you have any questions or you want to share anything down below, I love talking to you guys. Um, be sure to subscribe before you leave, and I will talk to you next time. Bye!